I loved men with beards. But I didn't even How get his men. Did you know before you met Nasir? So please, so many good-looking no. guys in college. I used uh, to yeah. drool. No. I had eyes. No. Excuse me. No, you didn't. <laughs> you only had eyes for Nasir. Are you but Let's before? No, no, You're no, talking no. before. No, no. Anyway, Shh. <laughs> is she here yet? Okay, now I'm panicking. Oh, you outdid me. Big is always better. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> Do that again. <laughs> Listen, I'm not playing this game. Do things in it. Your body is just falling off. His bum is that good. <laughs> scuba diving. You want to go scuba diving? Okay, Sitting there going. Makana, just stop talking. Uh -huh. right now you're embarrassing. Uh -huh. Go, Gopi. Stop it, Gopi. So this is the first time that we have a duo as our icons because uh, honestly nobody could decide which sister was more talented. Do you all believe? Uh, that one of you is more talented than the other. Let me just put you both into trouble straight away. Yeah, I, I think, think uh, uh, Supriya is more talented. Well, I think in that nice. certain matters, gonna, yes. You're not being very nice. Uh, this is not the no, 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 no. We're just warming up. We're just warming up. <laughs> no, no. I'll tell you. You know, we have our own personalities. That's the main thing. As talent goes, I think both of us have very distinct personalities and distinct ways of working. Saying which one of us, it, it depends upon every performance. We go one at a time. I hate <laughs> having to make choices like that. Yeah. Which is the best, which is the first. But I was just one. doing this so that you all will start with yeah. a little bit of yeah. conflict. Yes. So yes. Yes. <laughs> spices up right in the picture. I know your little trick. <laughs> and yes, we but do. we'd have a lot of spice for you in any case. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you all have cornered the entire market as far as talent is concerned in the industry. Both of you all, your spouses. What exactly are you all putting in those doklas? <laughs> What's happening? Well, ah. we can't tell you. Oh, I'm so, so sorry, much. it's a secret. Please give me, I need some of that talent, so yeah, please. <laughs> no, it's, it's an interest which somehow permeates the whole family. So the conversations all focus around acting or film or theatre or something like that. Also, I want to add that it came actually from our mom. The bubble from, for the two of us definitely came from her in the sense of the fact that um, she was a live wire. <laughs> she was one person whom I've met who everybody remembers as a bomb. You know, I mean, even at a later age, it was all. So we kind of got the residue of the bomb. <laughs> so and now we are trying to create our own bombs, but that's a different matter. But that came from her. And as for Nasir and uh, Pankaj, I think uh, they are uh, their own bombs. They, they, are, and, they have and just and done I have to it. Say it, you know. That Nasir was the trigger for me to become interested yeah. in acting. I took it much more lightly yeah. because I think uh, everyone did at that time. My yeah. mother too. Yeah. She was extremely invested in acting when she was younger, when she was running her own theatre company in Ahmedabad. But later, by yeah. the time she got into films, and that's the time I remember mm. watching her, she was doing such mediocre work, poor thing. Yeah. Was she? I remember in Golmal. Mm. I mean, that a iconic a Golmal. From Golmal, Khubsurat. tell me another. Khubsurat. Khubsurat. There was one more. Mohan, yeah, exactly. Mohan Joshi, Hazir Ho. Yeah, I remember that. Much later, but for the most part, she was just playing sad mom in the background. But that was, Didi, I think also at that time, those were the kind of roles that were there. I'm not making any judgmental stand about it. That's what we, at least I, thought acting was about, more or less. This, this business that acting was more than that came to me, thanks to two people, Nasir, of course, but Satyadev Dubey. So I also worked with Satyadev Dubey and I think he gave up on me. One day he said, I can't take it anymore. He locked me in a room and he said, till you can actually imagine that there are roses here and smell the roses and see them, I'm not going to let you out. <laughs> uh, I was there for nine hours. <laughs> <laughs> but I also have the same thing. I really learned about acting when I met Pankaj. Mm. It was that his process and his understanding of what he was doing or how he was doing it, watching him, I think is what uh, kind of triggered something in my head. I think you're giving them too much importance because I remember that you all started in plays. Your mom was directing a lot of Gujarati plays and there was a play where she decided not to cast your elder sister yeah. because she felt your elder sister was didn't have the right devotion yeah. or something like yes. that and that's yes. how Yes, That's absolutely. how I started. Yeah. Start, I didn't want to be an actor. I mean, literally, <laughs> everybody in my house, it was very strange. My dad used to have a lot of, uh, our dad used to throw a lot of parties. 
and uh, after helping him set up the party i used to go into my room close all the lights and sit in there till that whole party didn't get over and what was your sister doing she was the buzzing party. around buzzing the party. around <laughs> buzzing Enjoying around every minute yeah, of yeah. It. and there used to be such fights yes and there such conversations oh yes and we would have major battles because <laughs> my dad uh, was a businessman <laughs> he was uh, an rss man <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> completely different kind of family background. My mother is this actress, <laughs> a communist party member at one point, mm -hmm. and a completely bizarre. So they had two kind sets of friends, and they'd all mix them up together. I don't know how and why. But dad used was, to love that. Yes, he used to it love was calling pure combustion who would have ignite, and then he would. He Watch it, click it like that. You know, a little bit of a conversation, and it would all flare up, and he'd go on the side and watch it. But your dad and my dad are connected, right? Yes. I mean, no one knows that those guru kurtas that became really famous, they were done by your dad. He yes. was doing all the yes. costumes. Yes. 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 So you said that you would hide in the room and you were taking dancing on the yeah. table, <laughs> <laughs> dancing on the table. Did you bully her a lot? Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Why would you do that? What are big sisters meant for? I mean, what are younger sisters meant for? They are to be bullied. And according to her, I cried a lot, which is not true. I never did. <laughs> you made her cry a lot. That's what happened. No, no, I was a cranky child. Really, honestly, I'm being very honest. I was a cranky child. I remember crying at the drop of a hat and I could. And lots of tears with, you know, not just her, but real tears coming out. Clearly, you didn't need glycerine yeah. all throughout <laughs> there. She's never used glycerine. And, uh, I've never used it. But, uh, and my sister like bullied me, but again, in a similar manner where she would hit me and because she was smaller in size, I wouldn't hit her and then she would go and say that I've attacked her. And because I was 300 kgs heavier than her, she, everyone believed uh, everyone her. Believed her. Yeah. I never hit you. No, her. never hit me, never hit me. She never hit me, but you know what she used to do, which is... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I used emotional blackmail, yeah. like any good yeah. girl would. Like what? Like, you know, there was, a, you don't know where, there was a window in, in dad and mom's room which had but it didn't have any ledge, it was just like a, this thing and the window opened and there was an AC. So she knew that she wouldn't fall. Huh? But she would go and put one <laughs> over the other side and say, and say, if you don't do this, I will jump off. That's very dramatic, I must yeah. say. That's that's how you learn how to but she knew, that's but, but she knew that there was that and I never knew that that AC car duct was then nothing could happen to Darling, her. Darling, acting is all about creating <laughs> illusion, yeah, isn't yeah. it? I, I was no yeah. actor. Acting is about being a very good liar, so I guess you started early. Yeah, started yeah. Early. <laughs> so both of y'all decided y'all wanted to be actresses. At what point did you figure that out? Were you very young or? I was going to be an air hostess <laughs> because all my friends were going to be air hostesses, so I said I'm going to be an air hostess. <laughs> but uh, in nine, class nine, there was a mono acting competition mm -hmm. in school. And I did something for that and I was... Rani of Jhansi, Rani of Jhansi. you didn't do something. You made history for our school. Yeah. I had to hear it all my life in school. And then they would look at me and say, You're Ratna's sister? Look, you know, it was like... Come on, Supriya, you, I yeah, think you're yeah, exaggerating you, No, time. no, I'm not... I was Did out of the school before she got in. Yeah, anywhere. that's why. <laughs> if you were there, they would have known. But it wasn't <laughs> like that. <laughs> But when you got into the movie business, again, was this feeling there that you were a little bit in her shadow and how would you live up to her, yeah, which was in school? Yeah, the thing yeah. Oh, it yeah. So Soups got in much earlier much, much and earlier. she was doing very much more work. She's done much more work on film than I have. I've started getting work now. I yeah, did some television, think, but yeah. she did all the film work. Yeah. Both of you, what do you think is your triumph in your entire body of work? Where do you think, what, what do you think was the peak of what you did? I know the peak will still keep coming, but at that point, by then, what had you done that you were very proud of and you said, this is it, I have finally made it? I'd say Sarabhai for me, to a certain extent, because that made me more visible than I'd ever been. And more people saw my work than they ever had. So that definitely. But the one that was, that truly made me feel satisfied and made me feel that I surprised myself a little. It was uh, lipstick under my burqa. I love that. Yes. I did. I remember that bathroom scene from lipstick under the yes. burqa really well. Yeah. And that mm -hmm. was amazing because it was the first time I think that they kind of portrayed that older women have a certain sexuality about them which was completely yeah. missing before yeah. that. How do you think that that changed how women are perceived? Did you get any reactions about? From strange people, you know, I'm buying vegetables in the market. I love buying vegetables in markets. <laughs> so I was doing that. And this woman came up to me and said, I saw your film. Why was it such a depressing end? 
It was made by a woman. Why could she not see any hope for these women? Why such a depressing end? So I asked her, what kind of an end would you think works? And she thought for a bit and said, no, I, I know. But we shared such a connection for that moment. But for both of you, I think Sarabhai versus Sarabhai and Khichri brought you into as part of the cultural zeitgeist and suddenly you were right there beaming out of television but screens. But again, Khichri kind of uh, also uh, made me realize what a pleasure acting is. Mm. Doing Hansa mm -hmm. was just not, it was like a therapy for me. So, you know, it's like if I go on a Khichri set, I'm not working. I'm in therapy and I'm enjoying it. So that was the kind of thing that I had. And then I did Dhankor, which everybody was stunned by because they thought that how could a person who does Hansa, how can she do something like Dhankor? And which I give all full marks to uh, Sanjay ji for casting me in that and giving me the confidence that I can do it. Really. Your true colours are finally yeah. coming out. So Actually, Pankaj Deer said that. He said <laughs> that uh, only Sanjay ji could see that the evil in you, <laughs> that, you know, that I see. So, <laughs> that was his way of looking. No, but both of you are very good at dialects and accents and everything. I mean, you have all those iconic lines. But the way you're speaking now and what you were speaking, uh, you know, the way you were conversing in Khichri are completely different. Please say one line in your Khichri voice. Oh my God. And then we're going to ask your sister also no, no, to no, do no. one. Please, see, Maya is not me. I'm here as Ratna, you not as Maya. Please, mm. okay, I can't say even remember any lines. Kitri, okay, you say like my you line in Kitri. Yes, yeah, I don't line even remember Kitri. anything. Okay, we need a line in Kitri. Somebody tell us a line from Kitri, Hello, please. Hello, how are? That's Hello, it. how are? Khana ka ke jana. Hansa would rather die in a grave. Should we are rolling? What happened? <laughs> and I have always felt that comedy saved me from a fate worse than death, which is that of a melodramatic Indian actresses. <laughs> Indian actresses are ra largely expected to cry a lot or wear skimpy clothes and dance a lot. So these are the, you know, the two extremes that the poor girls have to fluctuate between. And comedy saves you from that. And I've done my bit of crying roles. Yeah. I did Bazaar, which was like, yeah, yeah, but how cried beautiful all you were, how beautifully you cried. Yeah, but I, cried. I loved your crying in that. Yeah. You've always loved her crying. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> <a> surprise. <laughs> Both of you all spoke about how your husbands changed your outlook towards acting. How did you meet your husband? Where did you meet him? In a rehearsal. We were <laughs> doing a play with Dubai ji. And it was called Sambhog Se Sanyas Tak. Covers the whole of our lives together. Sanyas lena baki. When you first saw him, what was your initial impression? Mm. Mm. He was wearing these great John Lennon glasses. Mm. I like that. And he had a beard. I loved men with beards, but I didn't even How get his men. Did you know before you met Nasi? So, Chris, so many good-looking no. guys in college. I used uh, to yeah. drool. No. I had eyes. No. Excuse me. No, you didn't. <laughs> you only had eyes for Nasi. Are you before? before. No, no, You're no, talking no, before. No, no. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but yes, and uh, I didn't even get his name right because uh, I was introduced to him by Dubey. By that time, Dubey had. <laughs> Yes. You know, got rid of a lot of his teeth, so you couldn't understand the world would be saying at the best of time. You know, it would be like that. <laughs> okay. So he sort of na named Nasir, but I couldn't hear it. I heard Shivendra Sinha for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> so you called him Shivendra? <laughs> no, no. Oh, but as we went to the uh, when we went for rehearsal, then Nasir introduced himself to the rest of the cast. So then I heard it's Nasiruddin Shah. But the first, but first thing, Shivendra Sinha. From Nasir, how did you get Nasiruddin Shah, Shivendra? You, 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 you still you can't do it. it. <laughs> and what about you? Where did you meet? Oh, we Pankaj. were doing a film together. That film was made only for us to meet because it never got released. I think we just just hit it off. We both had a lot of backlog, a lot of history, but we just. It just happened. Mm -hmm. By the time we finished the film, we confessed to each other and you know, I went my way and he went his and then we got back in Mom Mumbai together. And that film never saw the, uh, the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> I met my husband on a set and I wish that film had not seen the light of day. <laughs> but unfortunately, it, yeah, it's yeah. a really bad film. The moving finger rights and yes. having writ moves on. Yes. <laughs> the only thing so. good about it was that we met. Yeah. It. yeah. But, um, both of y'all sort of 
enter these blended families. Did you get married first? Did she get married first? I got married first. Yeah, she yeah. got married. So when married. she got married, did you give her advice? Ah, uh, who was going to take that advice? Mm. Okay, that's I tried. By then, by then, I, I think I got a letter which was very yeah, sentimental yeah. and all that. Yeah, no? you did. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody tried, but I didn't listen didn't to work. anybody. And uh, by then, I had kind of come to a point where I didn't want to listen to anybody. Yeah. I had quite made up my mind. And uh, my mother, till the last uh, few years of her life, still tried changing my mind <laughs> after two children also. She kept saying, he will leave you, huh? And I said, yeah, okay, now what, what difference does it make? <laughs> yeah, it's been so many years and he, she still kept telling me, okay, you made a mistake, you le he will leave you. I said, now it's okay, I'll my manage. Was she say that to you as well? Of course, she was a great warrior. Yeah, she, she could did. worry about anything at any time of night or day. So she so, yeah. was not very much of a support, but I think Ratna Didi, you kind of come, yeah, came around. Came around. I mean, yeah. it, she was so obviously happy. So what was the yeah. point? But you also came into families. There were already children there, and so what's the difference? Or what would you tell other people in blended families? How do you handle it when there's, you know, he already has a family, and you have to enter that and make sure that that child is also, you know, loved and included. What is the advice that you would give women? Nasir gave me some very good advice, which. I don't think uh, I've followed, he certainly hasn't, but <laughs> I also don't, haven't, except in Hiba's case, that it's best not to give too much of a name to a relationship. Husband, wife, mother, son, etc. You know, these, these things become straight jackets. Mm. If you keep the relationship a bit flexible, it helps. And with Hiba, that definitely did help. Both of us happened to be in a situation where we could keep it flexible. Mm. I give all credit to Hiba because she was the younger one. She was the one who was having to make all the really tough uh, adjustments to a new world. So uh, we, we just decided to try and take it as, let's see how this develops from both sides. And luckily it developed well. What about I personally felt that uh, See, I, I, I met uh, Shahid when he was very, I, when he was six years old. Mm. So for me, he was the cutest baby I've seen. He was such a lovely child. He was very warm, and he did not have any uh, defined reactions towards me, and nor did I have them to. So when we met, it was kind of instantly liking each other mm. as people. And I think that is what just carried on. Though of course there were lots of times when he was not with us because here luckily Hiba was, was with, with us there. all the time. With us it was not like that. So there was these times when he, whenever he would come but there would always be a kind of uh, we kind of uh, reacted to each other's people and mm. I do agree with uh, Ratnaridhi that do if not be flexible things, a little bit. I think even my own children, exactly. I don't I think really it has worked. have any name, I don't know, this is my daughter, this is my son, mm. really no, they are my friends, they are really. My daughter and my younger son are so much of my friends that I can't call them my son and daughter. I think they are very, you know, if somebody starts talking about Ruhan or Sana is, uh, oh, your children. I say, yeah, okay, maybe, you know, I'm not, so it's like that and I think I've had that, um, I really enjoy that much more even, the, every time I've tried a relationship with a name, it hasn't worked. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that. Like my, this is my niece, now let me have a relationship with this niece, it doesn't work. I'm actually going to try this advice. Yeah. I, I it does. It's yeah. quite nice because you're just reacting to people and as And now people. that your children are older, it's so much easier to yeah. do. Because when they're young, you are responsible yeah. for them and what they will do. But now, now that my kids are older, I mean, I really don't have to yeah. think of them as my kids. Yeah. Yeah. I can just think of them as human beings. I don't like some of the things that they do as human beings. And I really admire some of the things that they do. Same as I would with you or with him or with anyone. Yeah, so I think a nice that's feeling. a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling. I think that's too. a nice way to go about life. It's just not Yola, the fine in Both of you are now in your sixth decade. Yes. Mm. When you look back, what do you think has been your best decade? After I got married to Pankaj. Mm. This one is a die-hard romantic. <laughs> yes, she, <Yeah>. is. <laughs> she is. I'd say 40 to 50 for me. Yeah. And even after, because I'm doing the most exciting work now. So yes, so 40 onwards. 
I think life really began for me at 40. I hated being young. I don't know yeah, why even people I, make I have such a fuss problem. about being a teenager. I'd like to be sweet 16. For Christ's sake, yeah, yeah, I was I traumatized at 16. I hated everything yeah. about me at 16. I know you have to think about it. Yeah, yeah. I have to think about 16. For some yeah. reason, I was 16 in my head. Yeah. I'm still waiting. <laughs> yeah, so I, I mean, actually, I feel very young because I'm not yet 60. That was my goal. Yeah. yeah. I feel perfectly young at 60 also. I mean, yeah. I feel more settled in my yeah. head about yeah. many things. I don't have the same um, kashmakash that I had as a younger person. But really, and and also, today, you know, it's, it's so, so nice. Wonderful. You don't have to think about how you're looking all the time and don't have to think about, you know, either, either I, are you making the right impression, are you not? Oof, I'm, I was so tired doing that, you know, through your whole young age, you have to constantly think about Arya. Particularly as actors. Yeah, it's too much, I think. and. Today's actors to jaldi se bure ho jao jaldi. Also, it did help that I discovered uh, soon after I came out of the NSD that acting is not something that you do only while you are young and pretty. Hmm. For some reason, that was stuck in my head that as a woman, you act until you are young and pretty, then you get put on the shelf. And I looked around me and I saw so many actors, female actors who were working well into their old age. I saw actresses all over the world doing absolutely stunning work at all kinds of ages and then it struck me that shit, I want to act my whole life. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be worried about the way I'm looking. That's not what acting means to me. That was a great release. That really made me feel that I've got something else to work towards. Women can get really bogged down in this business of looking pretty. I see young girls around me on a set and I really worry for them sometimes because it's such a narrowing vision. It makes you look at yourself in such a narrow way. Yeah, I mean, that's, stuff. even when I was talking to mom, I think we were speaking about this and that's the whole thing. Once you pass a certain age, that yeah. worry kind of fades away. Yes, mm -hmm. and it's lovely. And yeah, in fact, it's this age I find a little tricky because you are in your 40s, but everybody expects you to look like you are in your 20s. Mm -hmm. And I think when you cross over, and you're actually 60, yeah. you can say, okay, now, it's you know, so this is nice. it, it's done. It's so nice. Yeah. It's really nice. So I envy both you also, of you all. <laughs> you also get a seat when you, somebody, they all stand up and say, please sit down. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> That's senior citizens <laughs> very good use your for a person very, like very cleverly. Very mm. nice fun. So it's great fun. Mm. Yeah. And it's also true that today a woman my age, one, gets work, mm. two, gets respect and nobody looks down at me and says, are bichari buddhi, etc. So this is a different world. It's a and different also, But only mood. you should be healthy. That's one thing yes. that scares me about old getting older. The only thing that really scares or worries you is how is it going to affect you physically? If you ever get down to that state, then I'm a little worried about yeah. that. Otherwise, growing old is great. You know, just now you said buddhi and auntie, still people use that, yeah, you know, yeah. as an insult. Yeah. So what would you tell anybody who will call you a buddhi and an auntie? What is your answer? Beta, tumbi aa jaoge. Pura sa ruk jao. Tumbi aa jaoge isi line pe. And you can always do the beta number. Yeah. Talk beta. down to them. Beta. Fun. <laughs> I think that works. Yeah. One last thing. What is your secret to having this long and successful career? How did you all manage this? Two sisters. <laughs> Just long, yes. Not so successful for a long successful. time for me. But now, yes. So, how did I manage it? I don't know. I don't remember doing anything consciously. Except keeping on working at the business of acting. I find that very interesting. I like thinking about it. I like practicing. I like... And theatre has definitely helped. The fact that I do theatre regularly. And I don't just act in the theatre. I help run the company. That really keeps me um, uh, free and open in my head and looking forward to tomorrow. Wow. And Supriya so, ji? I think what has really kept me going vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, my whole life is uh, the necessity to be happy and contented in whatever I do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've never felt that uh, it has been a uh, low or a bad time because I felt this is what it was supposed to be and this is what it has been. So success really never ever mattered to me in that sense. Yes, the kind of thing, thing that really mattered to me was what kind of work I do. And as long as my work is being liked by my audience, 
and I'm being appreciated or in, liked, enjoyed by my audiences, I've always been fine. So I think that contentment that was there in me from the very beginning, I think that really keeps me going. Yes. So Priya has a great facility for happiness. Yeah. She does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank I think you. I've learned so much. Oh. <laughs> and though I always wanted to be 16, I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, yes. Thank you. Do. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you so much, my two icons. Thanks yes. Thank very you much. So much. Thank you. Thank Lovely you. chatting with Lovely you. Lovely chatting with you.